Oh, hear me, saints of God. Now, there's a lot of examples in this Bible. But the one I want, since we've talked about him already, I keep doing this on purpose, being redundant. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm using him because I want, I want to use Job because I want you to get a clear, more understanding of the, of the very passage that we read all the time, that I can do all things through Christ. But to really get the context of what he's saying, he's really saying all things. See, and so let's go back to Philippians 4 and 12 as I wind this up. Philippians 4 and 12, here's my text. He says, I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. He says, everywhere in all things, I'm instructed, what? Both to be full and to be hungry, to abound and to suffer need. Why? Because I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. It's not the money. It's not the fame. It's not the honor. It's not what you can do for me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And if God said it's time for the glory of the Lord to build a church, I'm going to get under the glory. Come on, thank the Lord. If it's time for you to shine, he says shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I would shine. You ought to praise him right now because it's your time to shine. When he says then that the wealth is coming to you, I wouldn't try to figure it out because if you've been poor all of your life, you might not know how to abound. But last week, I gave you a hint. He says, like a man that sows a seed and he lay down and he wake up again, he don't have to know how because it's according to God's divine power. The, the kingdom brings forth a harvest just like the earth. You ought to thank him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shout, I don't have to know how. I don't have to know how. Because it's according to his divine power. And now God is saying that it is that season. You ought to go on and agree with him and say, this is my season right here. This is my season. I don't know how, but God said, if I can sow the seed, then it can come by air. It can come on the ground or it'll come by the sea. But I know it's coming because God multiplied grace is on my life. Give him a praise now. If you're rich, God's multiplied grace is on your life. If you have nothing, he says, hold, wait a minute, you that have no money, come and buy milk and wine. You ought to give him a praise now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, this is why I like Job. You say, why you like Job? Because Job was the richest and the wisest man in the East. But he did not trust in money. The Bible says that he had all of this wealth. But what he was concerned about, he was concerned about the soul of his children. The Bible says he understood what this wealth can do to a man or a woman. And he says, I got to offer up sacrifice for my children because while they were partying on all of this money, while they were having a good time on all of this money, they may have, and it might have happened by accident, they might have blasphemed God. And the Bible says out of Job's wealth, he continually offered up sacrifice. Come on, thank the Lord. Why? Because he understood where it came from. He understood that the value of his children's relationship with God was more important than their relationship with money. You better go ahead and thank him now. You better go ahead and thank him. Somebody say multiply grace. Glory to God. So when the news came, that he had lost everything. I like what the Bible says. 
The Bible says that Job said within himself, he says, he says, naked I came into the world. Naked I will return. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. You ought to praise it now. He didn't even know that it wasn't the Lord. He didn't even know that it was the devil. But just in case it's the Lord. Bless it. Bless it. Bless him! Bless him be the name of the Lord! The Lord is a high tower and the righteous run into it and are saved! Bless it be the Lord! Glory to God! When Satan attacked his body, are y'all with me, saints of God? See, you got to know both. Somebody say both. Say to be abased and to abound. Amen. So when Satan attacked his body and his wife was like, do you still retain your integrity? Job said, woman, you sound foolish. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Shall we receive good from the hand of the Lord and not receive evil? The Bible said that in all, God did not sin with his lips. Go ahead and thank him now. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and thank him. God did not abandon you because you got sick. God said, I will be with you in trouble and deliver you and honor you. Go ahead and thank him now. Thank him now. Don't worry about the doctor's report. Thank him now because multiplied grace is on your life. He was wounded from my transgression. He was bruised from my iniquity the chastisement of my peace was upon him and with this Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Shall multiply grace. Multiply. When his friends came and visited with him and they could not understand, Joe, you had to do something. Oh, my God. You had to do something, Job. And they accused him. Job said this. He said, if a man die, shall he live again? He says, all of my appointed days, I'm going to wait until my change comes. You ought to praise him now. It's your time to come forth. Thank him. Thank him. Oh, about 40 days. I will wait until my change comes. Glory to God. Why, Job? He had to tell another friend. 
He said, I know my Redeemer living. And that he shall stand in the latter days upon the earth. And though my skin worms destroy this body, yet shall I see the Lord. Lift your hands in this church. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. Begin to worship him. You don't have to know how. Your season has changed. You've been too busy telling God and not asking him. God, give me wisdom and knowledge. Because if you've always been poor and now God begin to bless you, you don't know how to do that. You need wisdom and understanding. If you've always been rich and now trouble comes, Huh? You need to know what to do with that. The Lord has not left you. The Lord has not abandoned you. No, 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 no. I know how. Teach me, Lord. To be abased. Teach me, Lord. I know how. To about teach me, Lord. Why? Why is it never over? Why is it never too late? Because I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. With everything that you got, begin to give him a praise now. Clap your hands. Praise his name. I can abase through Christ. I can abound through Christ. I can do all things through Christ. That's strict as me.